So now, I'm gonna share with you the top 10 things to do while visiting the Santa Marta area. So come on, vamos. Number one, Tyrona National Park was my absolute favorite part of visiting Santa Marta and a must see when visiting the Caribbean coast of Colombia. It is a nice combination of jungle and beaches with plenty of hiking trails. The beaches are picturesque with large round shaped boulders surrounding you everywhere you go. Number two, Taganga is a 10 minute drive from Santa Marta and is best known for scuba diving, backpackers, and partying. Many people come here to get scuba certified as it is one of the cheapest places to take the courses. Somehow this tiny town of less than 2,000 people has over 20 hostels and a large party scene. Number three, Rodadero is also a 10 minute drive from Santa Marta and is where many Colombians come to spend their vacation and is littered with many high rises. If you don't like crowds, avoid weekends and holidays. Expect to have many people trying to sell you anything from ceviche to massages. Number four, Castaño Beach is quickly becoming popular for its new surf camp. On weekdays, finding someone on the beach beside yourself can be difficult. Here, the waves are good for beginners trying to catch their first wave, but are also good for more advanced riders looking to shred. Accommodation includes hammocks, camping, and a few cabanas with more options coming soon. Number five, Los Angeles, which is in close proximity to Castaño, can also be a good place to catch waves or just relax away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Accommodation includes a few hammocks and camping. Number six, Minca. If you're tired of the heat or just looking for a new change of scenery, this tiny mountain town is located just one hour away from Santa Marta with a much cooler climate, admiring all the lush vegetation and waterfalls. Number seven, go rafting in Palomino. This small town doesn't have a lot to offer, but you can rent inner tubes and take a short walk up the river, jump in, and raft all the way to the ocean. The trip lasts around 45 minutes. Number eight, Quebrada de Valencia. Just a short walk from the highway, you can see a super large rock formation with several small waterfalls and pools of water. A great place to relax and cool off. Number nine, Check out the nightlife in Parque de los Novios. Here you will find a small square filled with restaurants and bars that keep the party going until the early hours of the morning. More on this in another video. Number 10. Try some of the street food Santa Marta has to offer. Not only is it super delicious, but it is super cheap. And remember to take some Tums if you have a weak stomach.